So this is Electra. Hi. Electra's my good friend, and you're gonna get me. Just good. She's my breaking my best. heart, Sean. Well, I'll, I'll say it in Japanese. No, you know Japanese. I can't think of a language <laughs> to say the the true story and that you don't already speak. Okay, the true story in Japanese. Then go on. <laughs> um, we're going to the we're outside the bookstore, the the one that has the great English language books, <laughs> Kinokinia, and we're going to choose a book to buddy read. And you get to know her more during the making of this video. But for right now, let's just talk about the buddy read. So. You're leaving the country uh, in January. Yes. So, when do you think we're going to do this? Before you leave or after you Depends leave? Depends what we choose, I that's guess, right. right? Like for me, if we choose something that's less than 300 pages, I could do it before you leave. Okay. If it's longer, and I like big, thick novels, mm -hmm. if it's longer, then yeah. later. Yeah. So, yeah. So and how, what are we doing exactly? So, we'll be reading it, the book. We'll are we doing a video about that? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that. Well, but it's okay, if, but I just If didn't. you like that, yeah, sure. Sure, we can do that. And even if, and if we do it after you leave the country, we'll just hook up by Skype or something and still okay. do it. Yeah. yeah, okay. Parameters for book choice, you know that I'm very fussy. So it has to be literary fiction. Yes. No YA, that's yeah. No good young for adults, you. no aliens, no, 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 no fantasy. No genre fiction. And it must be yeah. in English, sorry yeah. to limit you. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well um, okay, I'll manage. <laughs> but beyond that, Anything that goes, and you show books to me, I can autom I can reject them, no questions yeah. asked, and vice versa. We don't have to justify our rejection. Yeah. But beyond that, I think it's gonna be fine. So, yeah. shall okay. we go? Yeah, sure. All right. Yeah, it does. I would want to read page 112 before deciding, because yeah. I don't know a thing about it. Mm. I love the cover of this one, but it's short stories. Mm. So, the idea with the body read, do you commit to finishing the book? Sorry? That's what worries me. Are you going to commit to finishing the book? If you think I should, yes, I will. I think you should. Okay. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or of, you know, an accurate expectations. So then I definitely... <laughs> have to do page 112 tests before committing. Be mortalless. Sorry, who? Be mortalless. Uh, no, and I don't think it's for me. Okay. I heard enough about it that I don't think it's for me. Mm. But y did you? No, I'm considering it also. Yeah. You're not a Murakami. Nope. I would like to read his new one someday, but not urgently. This is an Indian novel that I've heard really good things about. It's a chunkster, so that mm -hmm. would not be before you leave, I don't think. I have It's on script, actually. So we could both read it on script. I love Indian literature. This one's shorter. Yeah, yeah. Really Akhil Sharma. Oh, these are stories. These are stories. Oh, yeah, just came up in the last few months, I think. That's a gay novel. It won the Pulitzer. Really? I don't think I'm going to like it, but so many of my book two... How would you know? Well, I've heard really positive and really negative reviews, and the, I think I, I won't like it. Okay. But I should try it. So if that's if you are interested in trying it, I would definitely mm. try it. Well, okay. So I usually choose books by the, the cover and judge them very much on the cover. And this is not very appealing to me. Okay, good. I'm but lucky. I would be open. No, like, no, based no. On, like what I'm saying, I would be open to reading it for a different. No, no. I'm thing. I, not I'm, for this. I'm lucky because I don't have to read it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what covers grab you? Well, there's nothing specific about them. Like I just know. But like here, like what, that what this I need to yeah, have. No, I I am a total cover buy too. I didn't like that. Okay. I read it. It's lots of readers that I usually that I often agree with did love it, but I didn't. Okay. 
Cupid, Florida. Huh? Florida. Uh, no, I've heard mixed, very, quite fairly negative reviews, actually. Yeah. She's, yeah, I hated it. Oh, did you? Yeah. Uh, I haven't read anything else by her, but apparently, she, you know, I... There was about, like, half a good story there. Yeah. I th think my theory, working theory, is that you're either a novelist or a short story writer. You can't excel in both mm -hmm. forms. Yeah. And I think she is a novelist, but I haven't read her novel, any of her novels. Shall we wander into the actual fiction section? Yes. Yeah. Or do you want to read the Bob Woodward Trump book? <laughs> Take that to no. Yeah, pretty much. I don't want to read it either. Enough of that in our lives without I already agree. it allowing to agree with it. violate our reading lives. Those kind of books, I don't need to read them. I just like to hear about them, and that's enough. This one, this is the all the novels in one volume, but one of my booktube friends, mm. Britta Bowler, she's doing a read-along of all the women women who've won the Nobel Prize, and this oh. is the one for January, but it's the first volume. Mm -hmm. This is the complete Thank set. Thank you for January. Yeah, I'm doing that in January. You're not a big fan of Jade, uh, Zadie Smith, are you? I am not. Mm. I, uh, I'm, Ali Smith is hit and miss, but I have this. Did you read? I haven't read. Went, read uh, which autumn, one did I give you? Autumn. I gave you autumn. Yeah, I'm still. I have a weird like process of like choosing when to read what. Like they have to like jump out the shelf read. at yeah. you. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Oh, I did a a novella of hers, or was it oh. a play? A play oh. of hers on audio on Is she script. The one who, let me check. Is she the one? Who I wrote? totally want to read more by her. Road. Like, happy the happy, like the like, or something like that. I. Because that was horrible. It was a, a play turned into an audiobook. It was about an hour read, or uh, hour listen, and I loved it. She's got an interesting story. Okay, she's not the one I've had in mind. Oh, happy the happy, yeah, no, that's an old one. I, like, I read that one, and that was quite enough for a lifetime. Oh, really? You didn't like it? Nope. What did you read at first? Happy Other Happy. And what is it? A novel? It is, yes. You didn't like it? Nope. Okay. Nope. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just a French way. Speaking of gorgeous covers, this is short stories, but I looked at this the last time I was here. Isn't that mm. gorgeous? We have very different tastes in like even book covers. Really? Yeah, yeah no, I no, think that's this gorgeous. is a no for me. <laughs> Love it. Not the, like, I don't care, like if I want to read the book, I don't mind. Like I wouldn't not choose it based on this cover, but I will cover, see it's gorgeous. Cover doesn't jump out at you. Nope. They have more hard covers here than they usually do. Japan doesn't mm. do hard covers yeah, for fiction, no. but there's, there's one. I'm surprised mm. how many there are today. So I love hardcovers. You read Catch 22. Which one? Catch 22. I tried it and I would like to try it again. I couldn't get through it, but <laughs> it, it was before my real bailing days. It was just, I was in the middle oh. of a four year old reading slump, and that was not the book to bring me out of it. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> was on my list for this year, but that went out the window. I read short stories by Adam Johnson, and this is his novel, Another Chunkster. It's set in North Korea. He's a really good writer, but that's, that's a pretty big one. I think you would love this. I read it just a couple weeks ago. You can borrow my copy if you want, because uh, you can read it in a, in a day. I can read it in a day. It doesn't mean I will read it in the days that I'm here. 
It's really, really, I didn't think I would like it. I really loved it. Dark and hilarious. Hey, I would consider this like to sleep. I would consider getting this one. Is it unscripted? It's not. Okay. Well, let's put this here for now. This I would consider. Okay. Yes. Are you going to remember it? Or should mm. just... We'll leave it there for now. finish it and this was such a disappointment <gasps> such a disappointment mm. it's one of the most beautiful do you like this cover mm. but the end papers uh. Uh, no like I wouldn't say that this is my go-to I really like this cover of nocturnes yes like I was looking at it on myself it's I was nice. like I don't want to read it because then it'll go away it's nice Just, yeah nice cover I've never read anything by him. This is the most famous one is this one, right? Crimson Petal and White. And the White. Oh, space. No. Nope. Have you read any Ferrante? No. I'm still trying to get started. I could. Yeah, I have I, a couple I, of her books. I, do you? Yeah, yeah, I'm interested, but... But it's such a big commitment. Once you start, you've got to keep going, or? Well, not you necessarily. I would have to keep going, which is I, why I'm hesitating. This, this is the one I'm reading on Lindsay's suggestion. Okay, yeah, I have this as well, and I need to get started as well. No, Marcus, please. Okay. I would like to, but it doesn't have to be. Um, no, it's a one I've day. I've read most of his stuff, I think. Like, older stuff, anyway. And I was very into him when I was a teenager, but not anymore. That's five years ago. <laughs> How about Fresh Complaint? Where's that? Yeah. What's that? Fine. It's been on my reading list for a while. Is it? Yeah. Uh, the only thing I've read by him is Middlesex, and I didn't like it. Mm. Oh, not The Virgin Suicides? I quite nope. like that Did one. you? Yeah. That wouldn't be a no, so... Think about it. Now the thing is, mm -hmm. most of these they only have one copy. Although the ones on the on the flat, they yeah. have multiple copies. We can get Amazon. Yeah. That's right. This is a Canadian novel. You probably know him as a new singer more than a novelist. Yes. But I would be very open to reading him. Okay. I was devastated when he yeah. died. I, me too. I read it 30 years ago. Okay. And um, you know about the scandal with the Nobel Prize in Literature this year? Yeah, yeah. So they had, a, they had an alternate prize, like mm -hmm, not sponsored mm -hmm. by the Nobel, yeah. and this writer won it. Uh, and this yeah. is her most famous novel. Have you read it? No, I'm very interested. She's African. Could do. It's a historical... Yeah, I'm very interested in that one. And they have, look, they have all these by her, but this is her most famous one. Yeah. Could okay, do. Well, that, that one was probably yeah. near the top of my list. This is looking. Yeah. Jim Carroll. A lot of people love Eileen Chang. Chinese novelist. Okay. I've never read her. My preference would be to not go for translation. Oh, okay. Yes. But, but I don't, it's not an old. These might be trans, this one might be translated, I think. Translated from the French. Okay. But it's not an old, it's okay. not a definite novel. Let's put this here as well. Alchemist. What's that? Alchemist. Oh, yeah. Don't you want to buddy read the alchemist? Come on. Yeah. Buddy read it with my nephew who's four. 
Maybe he'll be bored. Oh God, let's move on from Yang. Oh, also, I have all of hers on already on ebook. Have you read Americana? No. I haven't read it either. Okay. Have I don't you? Really want to. Okay. Have you read? What's your second novel? Um, Half of a Yellow Sun. Me? Eh? Half of a Yellow Sun. Yeah. Have you read it? Yes. Okay. Did you like it? Yes. Okay. But not as much as Purple Hibiscus. Oh, you didn't. That was, I, I, I know I you liked absolutely. It, but that one I adored. So. I kind of want to read her in sequence, so that's the only reason why I wouldn't agree to that mm. one. I, I want to okay. do the next one of her second okay, novel. Fair you can do this at a later time. Since, yes, yes, since yes. yes. Both have it. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. Oh, 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 oh. No, I don't think you'll want to do these, but I <laughs> haven't seen these in soft cover. Um, Hungarian novelist. Oh, this cover I like. Do you? I don't. Yeah. I like the hardcover that I saw. I mean, two two Transylvanian cousins around World War Two. Okay. I think Ange of Beyond the Pages wanted to buddy read this with me, but I didn't. Know, I haven't seen them. Mm -hmm. uh, the size is not given to me. Those are short stories, aren't they? I think they're short stories. Have you read Things Full of Hearts? I loved it. Yeah, it's really it's good. Um, Did you read it? Least, no. It's, uh, it's really good. I really like this one. So. Anthology? Yes. Oh. Like, it was a radio program and people sent in their stories. And some of them oh, were like, Oh, yeah, you told really me about good. it. You told me about it. There were a couple of like, super difficult, basically. Wow. So, of the ones that we have kind of pulled off, We didn't pull any off the new releases, so we can go back there. But which ones jump? This one is for you. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. My, I would choose one of these. Would be the number one and number two. Yeah. Or these would be agreed. my top three. So I'm gonna read this anyway. Okay. I'm not not don't want to do Eugenides. Okay. Let's put him away. Myself. If I can't um, bail, I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and this one I've read, but this I one I really this, rec I'm not sure. Okay, well, um, why don't we uh, both read? I'm not sure about this one. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Oh. I will uh, chain uh, here, right? Now, there's classic novels over there, too, but... Chebon is not for me. I never read him. I love this first novel, and I do a quick book scan. Couldn't get into the the one that was made into the movie with Michael Douglas. I bailed on it in disgust. What's that? Oh. A model? Uh, no, it's not listed here. I can't remember. All right, so we have looked at Adam Johnson, and can you hold those? We didn't really. We, no, but we, we, we talked about him a little bit, and yeah. so we we opted for this Leonard Cohen's That's Beautiful it. Losers, published in 1966, the year of my birth. And we also looked at this. This and Electra's going to get that for herself. I'm probably yeah. going to do this. She was the winner of the not the Nobel Prize this year. I'll probably do it. I'm really looking forward to doing it, but I'll do it for Women in Translation Month next, whenever that is, September. And you're going to get this on my yeah. recommendation. So let's go drink.